Of course, uh, all this snow puts a huge strain on emergency workers and road crews. Yeah, they're braving the elements. It's all in a day's work. 13 News reporter Anna King, or I should say West Virginia Tonight reporter Anna King, joins us tonight from Huntington. How are things looking out there, Anna? Yeah, so like you all said, road crews were out tonight and all day today um, clearing the roads. But if you look at the ground, there's still a good bit of ice on the ground from last night. And I spoke with officials about what drivers can expect tonight. Hey, it's just not safe, especially with the, my car. It's just it's, it's all over the place. It's just too dangerous. Trenton Cyrus says driving in today's conditions could have been treacherous. So, although out and about, he's made a point to stay off the icy roads as much as possible. I've been walking, <laughs> walking all over the place, trying to you know, get something to eat and doing all kinds of other stuff. And judging by the lack of traffic, most people in Cabell County were enjoying the snow from the inside. The Cabell County Emergency Medical Service had plows on the roads today, clearing the snow on the main. And back roads. They say although they received almost no calls today in reference to the snow and ice, they're much more anxious about what's to come. My concern is tonight when this freezes again, it's going to be very dangerous and people need to stay home. He says the best way for residents to help out is to continue to stay off the roads as much as possible. Well, it makes it easier to plow, obviously, it makes it easier for EMS, fire, police to get to where they need to go and they're not complicating the matters by having car wrecks. He says if you need to leave your home, remember to slow down and drive with caution. In Huntington, Anna King for West Virginia Tonight.